Hey, hey, know ye fair one thy mission? Well, I shall tell you thou art in the presence of Hatshepsut, Pharaoh of Egypt. Welcome to Finders Capers, or whose cool stuff is this anyway? Get me the Rosetta Stone back from the British. Oh, my. I was told by Miss Wilson yours is a life of deep thinking, say she. So I have come back to seek your talent. I have come back. I have come back. On the screen you will see my rock, my Rosetta Stone. Maybe you want to know a bit more of what has happened here. Okay, here's the temptation that really makes Horace elect to eat the jackal. British and Greek scholars worked together to read what was written on my stone. They summoned great minds and found that it is a translation of all the ancient languages. That stone is not just any old stone. It is a true keystone. A translation of all languages. Ah, yes. Alone you will not be. In Cairo, Egypt, a man lives. I want you to meet him. He will help you get my rock. He lives so that I may return the Rosetta Stone to its rightful home. He is my eye. And my ears in this lifetime, Dr. Zahi Hawass, head of antiquities in Egypt. Dr. Hawass is building the new Giza Museum ha! in Egypt at the base of the Pyramid of Giza. His wishes and mine are the same. He believes Egyptian artifacts belong to Egypt. Now think, think, dear one. I want you to touch my language and feel it as I once did. Find the beauty in the drawings called hieroglyphs. Find the beauty. Go to the website you see here and type in your name into the hieroglyphic translator. Create a word doc and place your hieroglyphic name at the top. Something I will tell you to hold in your heart. The heritage of any people is dear to them. The Greek people feel they own the Parthenon marbles. The Egyptian people feel they own the antiquities. Yet the British have a sense of finders keepers. They have put many dollars into unlocking the key to the origin of the languages of the Rosetta Stone. Get me my rock. Did you know the native peoples of East Jerusalem actually started fires with the Dead Sea Scrolls? Because they did not understand. Before I set you off, Meet Dr. Hawass, no two, another. I wish you to meet Hiram Bingham. He taught at Yale University and he loved archaeology too. He brought H.L. Tucker, a guide in 1947, to the discovery of Machu Picchu, with which he is credited today. Ha! <laughs> credited. Who discovered Machu Picchu but the natives who lived there for all those many years and guided him? He was an honest man, Hiram Bingham. He wrote a letter to Yale University where he taught. In this letter, he told them these artifacts were on loan 
This is why these artifacts were eventually returned to Peru. Egypt may not be so lucky without your help. You choose, my dear one. Is it finders keepers, or do the people who live in the places these artifacts came from own them? Who owns the artifacts? I am told you can write. Go ahead, write two paragraphs answering my questions. Be sure to state your topic sentence and follow it with at least three facts. You know or have learned about the Rosetta Stone, the Greek marbles, and the Peruvian artifacts. Oh, yes, I hope you can get my rock back home. Your talent is needed. I'm fading.